Hey, thanks for stopping by. Listen, I get it. The crypto wallets, the number of cryptocurrencies, the meme coins, everything is just a lot to take in. And you're here because you want a little clarification on what the heck is going on and how can you get involved, but how can you do it safely in a way that's not going to get your account hacked or cause you to lose a lot of money. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is you and I, we're going to sit down and I'm going to break down the best crypto wallets in 2021. Now, you may not know this, but there are different types of wallets for different applications. So if you want to transact, you need one type of wallet. If you just want to buy and hold your cryptocurrencies, you need a different type of wallet. They don't tell you this. I didn't know this. I did some digging. I found some great information. Everything that I present in this video, I'm going to link below to the article so that you guys can read those for yourself. But what I'm doing is I'm going to give you information I found to help you best decide which wallet to use for your application. So why don't we dive in? All right. So the first thing I want to share in this video is that crypto wallets don't actually contain your crypto coins, your currencies. I know it doesn't make any sense. I, I didn't get it either. But what you need to know is that all of your coins are actually stored on the blockchain. And all that happens on the blockchain is that addresses of different coins just change. It's just changing of addresses on the coins to show where they are. Now, what a wallet is used for is to store what is known as your private key. This private key gives you access to the coins so that you can then transact, decrease the amount of coins you have, or accumulate more coins. It's just a private key. You can think of it as a conduit into the system. It's your portal into the blockchain so that you have access to the coins that you actually possess. Now, one source of confusion for me, and I imagine for you as well, is that some exchanges actually allow you to store your coins right there on the exchange. An example would be like Tastyworks. You can go in and you can buy pieces of Bitcoin, you can buy fractional Bitcoin, and you can actually store it there. You don't have to take it out. You don't have to move it around. It just stays there. You can buy it, you can sell it. It's mainly for maybe longer term investors. You can actually accumulate the coins, wait for the price to go up, and then you could dump them off. The only issue with this is you can't go, you know, buy, I don't know, maybe your $5 million crypto punk can't really do that. You have to be able to transact. And that's where a wallet would come in. You go buy that crypto punk, you're going to need a wallet. Now the exchanges are great. They can store those coins and that's fine. But if security is an issue for you, if you're worried about the security, you might want to get a wallet because it's like adding another layer of protection. Now within these wallets, you can get more security. You can increase the barrier to be hacked or to have your coins stolen and stay tuned because I'm going to get into that as well. All right. So why don't we just break it down? What are the two types of wallets? So now we're not talking about the exchanges anymore. We're actually talking about wallets. Now you have hot wallets and you have cold wallets. And I know that sounds bizarre, but let me break it down a little bit for you. With the hot wallets, all that means is that the wallet is actually connected to the internet. It has direct access to the web. Now with the cold wallets, this would be something like a thumb drive, an external device that can store your private key, but not be connected to the internet. So if you wanted to exchange your coins, accumulate more, you could plug in a cold device, bring the coins, bring the private key into play, exchange your coins, and then have the private key stored on that thumb drive or external device. And then you can unplug it from your computer so that it's not hackable. So with reference to security, hot wallets are less secure or more vulnerable than cold wallets, which I didn't know. If you knew that, comment below. Let me know if you knew that. I did not know the difference between hot and cold wallets. When I heard hot wallet, I thought a hot pocket and that was just kind of weird. It threw me off. I kind of went down a rabbit hole, but now I'm, I'm, I'm back. We can talk hot wallets and not hot pockets. Now, right now you're probably thinking, ah, I need to get out and buy this cold wallet. I got to have the cold wallet. I can plug it in. I can unplug it. I can protect all my coins and that's great. But here's the problem with cold wallets. You can lose them and that's not good. You can lose your cold wallet. And if you lose your cold wallet, you lose your private key, which gives you access to the blockchain to access your coins. Because remember the coins don't leave the blockchain. The coins stay on the blockchain with an address and that address is you 
And to access that address, you have to have the private key to make the whole thing work, okay? Now you might ask, who would this be best for, these cold wallets? If you can lose them, it's a problem, what's the deal? Well, a lot of people I've found online have said, if you get a cold wallet, which is the external device, which allows you to store your key, you wanna take that device and probably do something fairly safe with it. I've heard of people putting them in safety deposit boxes, in-home in safes, places where they can't be accessed, can't be damaged, can't be ruined, can't be stolen, just kind of hidden away. Now, if you do hide them away, then a drawback is you gotta go to the bank, get into your safety deposit box to find your cold wallet in order to go transact these coins in a way that might be to accumulate or to offload coins from your account. So that's one drawback. So if you're a buy and hold type of person and you're looking for a cold wallet and you've got a tidy spot that you wanna stick this thing where you're not gonna lose it, then I've got two brands for you right now to give you. Two of the best brands according to my research are, number one is a brand called Ledger and number two, a brand called Trezor or Trezor or Trezor, however you wanna pronounce it. But these two brands seem to come up time and time again as being good cold storage at a nice price point. You can actually pick up one of the ledgers for around $119, and that might be a good fit if you wanna stay pretty cheap, but you wanna be a long-term investor, buy and hold, and you wanna be able to tuck this thing away. Now, all of these cold storage devices, what they do really well is that they transact or they interact with all different types of cryptocurrency. And I believe my research found 1,500 different types of cryptocurrency. You can store any of them on these brands, this Ledger and Trezor. And it's just super simple to use. So if you're not super computer literate and you're wanting to get into crypto, but you're worried about these wallets, the cold storage is pretty easy to use. You just plug it into your computer like you would plug in a power cord or your headphones. You go to the USB and that allows you to transact your coins with your private key. So very simple to use. Simplicity is key with the cold storage. Now, what if we move on to hot storage? Let's talk about hot storage, meaning you're actually connected to the internet. Your private key is stored, but where it's stored is actually connected to the internet. So hacking, different issues like this can come up, less secure than cold storage. So let's talk about the types of hot storage. Now I wanna focus on primarily desktop hot storage and mobile hot storage. With desktop hot storage, you can download some software under your computer and you can actually use this to store that private key and this will then allow you to transact your coins. Now what's nice about this desktop is that it allows you to make purchases with your coins, it allows you to transact with the blockchain so you could add more coins or reduce the number of coins you have and then go buy that CryptoPunk. You can do this with your desktop hot storage. Now the second type of hot storage is a mobile app, mobile crypto wallets. And these are things like Coinbase wallet. And what's nice about the mobile wallets is that you can carry your phone with you. You could go downtown, maybe pick up a Tesla, or you could buy that CryptoPunk, or you just maybe buy your groceries if you can buy them with whatever coin you may be storing. So mobile just means you can take it on the go, it's on your phone. It's like opening up a Facebook or an Instagram app on your phone. You can then transact coins through this form of hot storage. Remember, it's connected to the internet, so it's hackable. You gotta protect that private key. It's not cold storage. It's not in a safe buried in your crawl space. It's in your pocket. So now what I wanna do is I wanna give you a graphic here and I wanna give you the best wallets based on different categories. And I'm gonna throw that up right here. So as you can see, the best wallet for beginners you wanna start with a brand called Exodus. That's a great place to get started. Now, if you're more advanced and you're interested in Bitcoin, you can go with Electrum. That's a brand that tailors itself specifically to this scenario. Best for mobile users is gonna be a brand called Mycelium. And again, I'm gonna have links to all this in the description, so don't panic. Best hardware wallet or cold storage wallet is gonna be the Ledger Nano X. You can check that out here as well in the description. And if you wanna carry a lot of different types of crypto and you wanna get really crazy, you can use the Trezor Model T, link as well below. And overall best bang for your buck, you wanna go with the Ledger Nano S. So I will have links to every single one of these down in the description. You can check them out. You can see what fits your lifestyle, your investment style, your transaction preferences. Well, however you wanna transact with these coins, just remember the coins are always stored on the blockchain. The wallets just give you a portal into the blockchain with your private key so that you can transact, accumulate, or offload coins. I hope this video was helpful. Please comment below. Hit the like button if you got any value out of this. 
And if you want more one-on-one -on -one interaction, grab a channel membership, hit the join button, 25 bucks a month, private Slack group. We'd love to have you. I'll see you in the next video.